guys, it's Nat. So I'm going to show you guys how I prepare the pinky comber with the hair for um, weaving. I'm just going to use a cheap conditioner, put that in a spray bottle with water. And then I'm going to take the hair. And as you can see, it's really pretty. It has some really pretty curls in it. And then it gets really kinky at the bottom. So all I'm going to do is uh, unwrap it once. Um, I don't want to undo the whole thing because then it'll get really, really tangled. I think at least it'll get tangled. Then I'm just going to stick that in my sink and I'm going to start spritzing the hair with the conditioner and water mix. I'm going to spritz both sides. I'm going to spray um, the curly side of it and then I'm going to just finger comb it. And um, I'm going to let that sit for a while and then I'll come back and rinse it with water and then once I'm done rinsing it with water I'm going to put it on a pant hanger and hang it in my bathroom so that it air dries overnight. So it's really important that you wash your hair the day before or at least a, you know a day before you want to actually use it. So I will be working on the wig tomorrow morning. I'm just going to hang this to dry and then I'll be back to show you guys um, how I leave the hair. Okay, so now I'm ready to weave the hair. I have my weaving cap, which has an elastic band, and then I have um, some push pins that I will be using to secure the cap to the styrofoam mannequin head. So I'm just going to pull um, the cap as much as possible in pin because the cap is not indicative of my head, so I have to make sure I make enough room um, on the mannequin head. So I'm going to just pull as taut as possible, and then I've prepared four needles already threaded so it'll be easy to weave. So now I'm just going to take the hair and I'm going to take it off the hanger and as you can see the webs are pretty thick here. I actually bent a needle while I'm working with this web. So I'm just going to place it on the nape of the neck of the mannequin head and starting at my first push pin which is um, right at the neck I'm going to start sewing the um, hair at that point. Now, a quick tip that I can give you guys uh, while sewing is if you don't have a sturdy base like I don't, what you can do is you can take the hair, wrap it around, and push pin it all the way around. Now, once you finish sewing that side and you get back to the first push pin, you're going to just take the hair up slightly and you're gonna keep moving around now. I've just put it to the point where I like it and then I'm gonna take a push pin and I'm gonna stick the push pin to mark it and then I'll continue sewing. I'm not cutting the hair. I'm not cutting this hair at all because I can reuse it. From what I understand, I can reuse this hair as much as I want. So um, I'm not gonna cut the wefts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going in a circular pattern and just making sure that I mark off as much space that I wanna leave between each track. So now this is uh, one whole uh, weft of hair. So this is one pack, one bundle. And as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit done. Um, what I do realize is I will probably go back in and fill in some of the gaps, but for now, this works really well. So all I'm going to do is continue to move in a circular pattern until I get to the center and then you know the closure will just be a tight ball I'm not cutting it like I said I'm not gonna cut this hair so this is the finished product guys I see I can um, part it either way I want I can part it in the middle off to the side or I can leave it kind of banging in the front so this is pretty much the finished product like I said I went in a circle you can see that you don't really see anything um, at the top of the head so I'll show you guys what this looks like on me shortly 